Group CEO Turbjörn Magnusson, would you give us uh, highlights about your third quarter? Yeah, I think it was a solid and traditional Sampo quarter with uh, very good results, very strong results. First of all, our biggest business, uh, if PNC, produced a very good combined ratio, even with the technicality, the discount rate that we did in, in, in Finland. Uh, and that's the most important number probably for the long term for uh, the value of this company. So that's one. Um, mm -hmm. If also grew quite a bit, so um, that's a nice extra. Then uh, the one that, that many people ask about, Nordea, we've now seen four quarters consecutively where Nordea continue as a machine to develop towards the 2022 targets with a new management team in place. And that development goes really well, both if you look at the market shares, the income, but also uh, the cost in relationship to that. So uh, really, good, really good quarter and uh, solid results. Let's talk about if uh, for a long time, if didn't grow that much, but for the past few years, we've seen growth in, in the insurance uh, business. It's five percent. It's quite much, actually. You could say. So, what's behind the growth of if for the last couple of years? I think it's been uh, payoff time in, in one respect. Uh, we invested a lot in web developments, in omni-channel um, uh, equipment for our employees. And that is now paying off. We are uh, clearly the market leader in uh, web distributed insurance policies and, and our customers, of course, uh, appreciate that very much. Then, of course, uh, the growth also depends on, uh, on the commercial side, on a bit of uh, rate increases uh, where necessary. Uh, usually you say that profitability and underwriting results, of course, are the most important thing for if so. When we see this growth, are you aiming for this growth and should we see this kind of growth in the future as well? Well, we think about it in a different way in, in uh, Sampo, in FPNC. We, we see it this way. If we can produce something that is so good for the customers that they come to us, then we're happy to have growth. We don't, we don't try to achieve growth by cutting prices to unstable levels. So we have to increase these prices for next year uh, for the customers going up and down and up and down. But as I said, we've invested a lot in uh, really good web distribution, omnichannel distribution, and that is now paying off. And that's a good way to grow. We've seen second wave in COVID-19 here in the Nordics. How has that affected your businesses in any way? Yeah, I think it affects us in, in many ways, in many daily work ways. Of course, many of our employees will have to work from home. Um, we managed to do that quite well, I think. And if we look at the customer satisfaction, it's actually stayed on, a, on the very high level that we had before COVID-19. So we've been able to service our clients uh, throughout this period. That's the, the number one. Secondly, of course, the investment markets have been uh, extra volatile, maybe is the word to say, um, in, in this period and that, uh, that we live with. Um, and then on the insurance side, uh, for a period, we have more travel claims than, uh, than normal. On the other hand, people are driving, were driving in the spring less than normal. I don't want to try, try to add that up at the moment. We'll see where it takes us. It's just a sad development to see a second mm. wave, of course. But nothing too dramatic. No. How about Nordea? You said that you now have four quarters of uh, the turnaround. So you, I, I assume you're quite happy with Frank. I'm very happy with my collaboration with Frank, and I think his new team is a good team, and, and the board, a strong board, works well with a new team. Four quarters is not nothing, but it's not a long period, of course. We have our targets, and we stick to them, and, and also Nordea is uh, developing well on all, all parameters. So market share increase in, in many uh, important markets like mortgages in all Nordic countries. That was a long time mm. ago since Nordea had that. Costs being cut every quarter and it's unnecessary costs and it's increased efficiencies. It's not cutting out things that are necessary for the development of the business. And, and then of course Nordea is extremely, has an extremely solid balance sheet, lots of capital. So you think the turnaround is more Sustainable because it's not about the cost. cost this, is, uh, only this is certainly a sustainable turn, a way to do a turnaround, and I'm very proud of Frank and his team doing it this way. 
you're now acquiring Hastings, which uh, we can't talk too, too much about that, but um, thinking about other acquisitions, how much you have ammunition or room for maneuver in, in financial sense right now? Well, after Hastings, we are not in an acquisitive mode, I think. Uh, that's, that's not the right uh, timing for that. And, and uh, let's close Hastings, which I hope will happen now in a, in a very short space of time. Sampa has often said that Sampa would like to swallow top Denmark if the price is right. So what do you think about the price of top Denmark right now? Well, it's certainly cheaper than a couple of weeks ago. But that was that was joking. You know, as I said, we are not in the mode for acquisitions. And furthermore, if you were, I wouldn't tell you. So, <laughs> of course not. Thank you, Magnusson, for the interview. Thank you. My pleasure.